Greetings, Nobbler here. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to build a simple tower of stone. I will be doing this in debug mode, so I do not have an estimation on the cost of resources. And we'll be using the one by one blocks to assemble a small tower. Here you can see the uh, basic footprint of the tower's size. And typically these will need to be about 10 bricks tall. Uh, the rule that I would follow is that if we have 5 bricks wide, we want to be twice that tall. And I'm just using the uh, in-game snap feature to build. So here I'm just showing you that this is approximately 5 blocks wide and that means that we want to go about 10 blocks tall just to give it proportion of height to its width. Well as you can see the tower looks rather ordinary similar to a silo there's no doors or windows so here's some features that we can add to give this some flavor. Uh, one of my personal favorites is a window for uh, maybe defense or just to let some light inside. Uh, you'll notice that there is not a lot of space to work inside of here, uh, barely enough room for a fire, but uh, maybe this is a place where you could hide a ward inside of your fort and keep it defended. So to create the window, uh, we're just going to break a few of these bricks out. It doesn't cause anything to collapse because as you can see the uh, bricks are each interlaced inside of the ones adjacent to it so they are all structurally supported by the ones on the left and the right of each other. And the windows I typically build are going to be two bricks tall and we're going to clear out three bricks wide around the arc. Then we're going to build the two brick height stone pillars and you want this to be offset by two clicks or uh, I guess that would be a 90 degree rotation and you could either go to the front of the brick or the back of the brick and you'll see how it kind of snaps from the inside to uh, line up with the uh, bricks that it's adjacent to while protruding outward a little bit. It creates a uh, triangle protrusion and then when we snap the brick to the other side here You'll see the result is what looks like a window for arrow defense where you could shoot from inside to the outside. And if you make it a little closer to the ground or build yourself a platform inside here, you could see how that would uh, be a defensible uh, structure. So let's give ourselves a little platform here to show you what I mean. So there, if we were uh, taking some shots at a, say there's an alleyway or you create a causeway where an enemy player or a creature would have to travel through the direction that the window is facing in a straight line, you could get off quite a few shots with the uh, bow and arrow to uh, get them on the approach. You can see the design on the inside here, how closely laced everything is. And as long as you're just doing a single rotation for each of the bricks, uh, it lines up pretty seamlessly. I'm going to have to fix the alignment on that pillar. Now something else you'll notice here is that the uh, character is not able to squeeze through this window. By adding those angle blocks in there, you cannot enter or exit through these openings. So this is something that if there was an enemy player, trying to attack you from the outside and they thought they'd just jump in and start in with the melee, they cannot enter through a window of this shape and size. 
So this same structure could be used on a flat wall uh, for defense as well. And uh, it does allow arrows to go through it, so let's spawn a bow in so we can test out that theory. So again, if we're on the interior and we're defending against an enemy that's coming, say against that tree in the far distance there, you can see that the arrows shoot just fine through the opening. You could even be standing back a little ways and uh, arc your shots if you need to. The further back from the window you stand, the less of a side angle the enemies will get to attack you. But likewise, it also limits the scope of your shots as well. So that is, in a nutshell, the uh, tower defense model. Now what about the top here? Uh, it does look kind of ordinary, so you can actually add a parapet to the top of this using the 1x2 stone bricks. And it's up to you if you want to add a layer to the top or just replace the top layer itself. Uh, there is a limited build height to all the structures in Valheim. But I'm just going to do every other one. So that you can see how you can fill in the gaps between these 1x2 blocks. So that's going to be two rotations instead of one. Two clicks on the mouse wheel. And we are trying to get that to line up with the brick below. So that there is even spacing between all of these. So you can see from below that the uh, parapet kind of offsets the vertical structure. like Hugin made it inside of the tower. If Hugin approves, then you know it's good. But back to the build on the parapet, if you use the uh, floor blocks, you can actually fill in the voids between every other block. It isn't a perfect round shape on the outside, so don't go for perfection here, but it does fill in the gaps and creates a nice visual aesthetic as well as a possible platform for you to stand on if you uh, maybe are creating this tower as part of a straight wall and you have a catwalk or a causeway on the inside that you could get to the top of the tower from, uh, you would have the advantage of higher ground for your missile fire. So again, looking at it from below, it's not a perfect ring, but it resembles it enough that when you look at it, you can see that there is a, a good aesthetic to the parapet. To give it some finishing touches, you could add vertical blocks. And some other finishing touches you might want to do is if it's just for the aesthetics, I'd recommend using some of the roof pieces. Uh, this does work better on the roofs with uh, the 1x2 blocks, which are going to be twice as big around, because these roof tiles are uh, two frames wide. But we can approximate a conical rooftop. I'm just giving it a rough alignment so that perhaps when seen from a distance you now have a uh, structure in the middle there giving it that finished parapet look. Uh, something else that you could also do is add items inside of the tower and so from the side you'll see that there is an antenna or a spike poking out of the top kind of resembling a flagpole Maybe even affixing your choice of banner styles onto that. Um, or not. I guess you can't build onto the uh, obliterator there. But uh, the banners are another touch that you can add uh, hanging underneath the eaves above, the trusses. 
just to kind of break up the pattern in the uh, castles or the towers walls so you can see when they're hanging down it uh, gives it a bit of a relief other options could include using the arch stone and snapping that in underneath each of those bricks that you've built around at the top So that gives it a little bit more of a structured or supported look. And if you decide to take that out a little further, for example, if you wanted to have a wider parapet at the top, you could use these blocks, these uh, arc blocks, to create a flanged effect, a buttressed effect of the uh, upper level. And just expand those blocks out by one more And you'll find that filling in the void now, you also need to add one extra block on the end. And this will, at that distance, two bricks wide, give you a more finished uh, circumference. The alignments tend to be a little bit better using the arched extrusion. And it does give you a little bit more room on the top to work with for making a parapet or a rooftop or things like that that you would be fighting from or defending. So there's some ideas on how you can build a small tower in Valheim including windows and again because the interior space is not very usable I just wanted to show you what it would look like if you did try to include a doorway or entering or exiting small tower like this, if we take out just two blocks, we cannot get inside. So what we need to do is take out that third block row, and this will potentially weaken that center line structure. But now you will be able to go inside and then fight from that defended position if you decided to build that in as a element for your base. And as far as decorating the doorway, I haven't thought of anything that's really that useful aside from clipping in some of the arch structures from that top middle stone. If you think of a better way that you could design a doorway into a curved wall like this, uh, feel free to reply in the comments and let us all know what you come up with. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish the exterior with the two wide parapet at the top just so you can see what that finished product looks like. And I hope that you've enjoyed this build and got some helpful ideas for your own castles or forts that you decide to build in Valheim.